All right, some stuff came in from Amazon. Hopefully this rip in the bag right here is just a rip in the bag and everything that's supposed to be in there is actually in there. The MP copy far stall installation. All right. All right, so we got the MP right there. And we got my old 74 that has a new Pertronics in it right here. So let's uh, go ahead and get this thing out and the new one in. crimp these on but other than that I'm ready to go chuck it into the car which I will have to get to later because it's getting toward dark and it's kind of miserable out today so I don't really want to go into the garage right now all right it's a new day and these are the ones that came with it but I'm going to put these two on so that if it blows up I can yank mine off and then I can just send it all back to them it's not a great day outside, but it's good enough to go into the garage and do something. Okay, I got to get it off the pedestal, so I think I'll just kind of slide it out and then jack it up and take everything off there. All right, it's got battery power, so let's see what it's got. I think it's been sitting now for about you know, five, five and a half months. Yeah, without an electric fuel pump, that takes a while. Alright, I gotta get the Suzuki out of the way here. I think I'll take it out for just a little drive. Alright, it's in. I believe I have the wires ordered properly. I verified that I am at top dead center on number three, so we've got, uh, let me see, where is number three anyway? There's number three right there, so we're pointed at that one. I tried to eyeball a certain amount of advance into it for static timing. Should be good enough to get it cranked up. Uh, what else do you got to look at? Notice that the red wire, red wire, red wire, so black wire, black wire. We are wired properly. The vacuum piece is busted in there, so that piece of it doesn't work right. Or at all. So it's not attached. Alright, I got the camera on the stand. Let's go see what happens. Let's see how good my guesses are here. Too bad, I guess. Anyway, this is the empty clone. If something's not right there. Look at the look at the cab bouncing around. All right, I got turned off. Okay, 
Okay, different cap. It's still bouncing around. It's not supposed to do that. I believe it is the rotor. This rotor, I'm not sure where I got this, does not fit with that particular electronic unit. So the 009 rotor is now in there. Let's see if it works. I hate to say this, but I get the feeling the unit blew out. Yeah, I think the unit blew out. Okay, I've popped good old reliable Mr. Perlux in there. And uh, black and black, red and red, so it's all wired properly. We don't want to burn it out, you know. I mean, it's like 30, 40 years old, whatever it is. Uh, of course, it's just kind of hand time. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that empty blew out. So, it's going back in the box. You know what they say, if I cry once, pay up for the good stuff so that you don't have to cry later.